Welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principle. I'm your host Shaheen. In last video we had actually analyzed silver and actually forecasted that we are expecting silver to bounce to $40 an ounce and the video received good response. I'm thankful to all of the people who actually played role in this. So let's have a look at silver again and we want to see whether um, what are the important points in that analysis we and how much prices have moved and we'll look at further uh, in the deep analysis as well. So first of all I'm expecting that we have kind of created uh, some sort of bottom right over here and for now at least I'm expecting this as a wave A, B and C pattern. So I'm expecting this as wave A this is as wave B and I'm expecting this as wave C pattern and within wave C pattern we have completed uh, wave 1 of the ending diagonal, wave 2 of the ending diagonal, wave 3 of the ending diagonal and wave 4 of the ending diagonal. So and I believe that we are heading towards the wave 5 top which is somewhere which is going to be somewhere around forty dollars and you might be thinking what is the reason of such strength I am and uh, my analysis once again is that if you look at the depth of wave 2 which is about about I think 90% of the depth as compared to the depth of wave 4 which seems to be around 50% this gives an indication that actually the bears are not so much strong in the overall trend this also gives us an indication that since wave 3 is larger as compared to wave 1 we are expecting wave 5 to be the largest and that's why I'm expecting the, red, uh, the price of silver to shoot up somewhere around 50, 40 dollar an ounce as well Let's have a look at the the correction that actually started right from top. I'm considering this as a zigzag pattern. I'm considering this as wave A of a zigzag, wave B of the zigzag, and this is going to be wave C of the zigzag. Very important point is that if you look at the price analysis from this point, how do we know that actually this is not a flat correction? Once again, it's too early to say like that. You were expecting the prices to reverse in that area, and they have reversed so far. But what is actually the confidence level behind it? So in order to do that, we need to wait for the prices to actually uh, pass through 2690, which creates a good top right over here in this price structure. So if as soon as prices create a new uh, a top beyond 2690, that will be our uh, confidence level uh, shooting high to the maximum that actually that we have created the V bottom right over here and we have seen the prices rising up to. So analyzing market is one thing and getting a confidence signal is another thing we have to keep that in mind but so far we have seen a reversal there is another possibility that this is and this is what I'm going with right now that this is not a flat correction although it looks like that because this correction is yet not this price movement is yet not complete so this we can consider this easily as wave 1 and wave 2 of smaller degree and then wave 3 or some sort of another wave 1 and 2 so we have to keep that thing in mind so once again if you want to have really confidence with the high confidence and you want to say that uh, you want to be really sure where the which way the prices are heading then you might need to wait for the break of this top and for the uh, support uh, for the stop loss level I'm afraid that we are not very close to the bottom of right over here which is 2187 so I'm considering 22 dollar as a pretty good stop level as compared to the the profit margin that we're expecting in silver. That's where my uh, analysis is heading. We are. I'm expecting price of silver to go to forty dollar an ounce. It has jumped up quite nicely, but as soon as prices go above twenty six ninety, we'll be saying that with a higher confidence that the correction that actually started right from the top of wave three as a zigzag pattern is completed right over here. So you might want to be really careful by putting your stop loss right over here so that you are not caught up in the price movement if it does decide to come down, right? So you got to keep that in mind. One very important thing is is gold. We have seen a very good price uh, jump about $40. We were expecting the price to jump somewhere around uh, on Monday. We did not we did not happen. We have seen prices actually uh, initially falling, uh, going up and then coming down but we have seen a quite good jump and I was indicating that this support level is extremely important. This support level that you're seeing is very very important and we are seeing good jump out of here. So if you look at the larger price uh, analysis of silver, of gold, once again we'll be really lucky if, if that we see that uh, jump in, in the price of gold, we'll be really lucky to get that uh, joining of the trend. 
I'm expecting this whole trend to be a bearish in, in gold, right? I'm expecting that this when silver is jumping, gold will jump along with it and then we'll follow the larger movement downward, a correction and then downward. That will give us a five wave structure, which is actually wave C of the flat correction. So once again, I'm considering this as a wave A, which is three wave structure. Wave B is a three wave structure and wave five is going to be a five wave structure. That's what I'm expecting right now. So I'm myself waiting for the prices to jump. Once again, I'm mentioning the reason I'm mentioning for it is because we have seen quite a bit of uh, bearish price movement and gold and we are expecting prices to jump up. If that happens, it's going to be really, really good for us, especially for the people who are interested in bear market of the gold. So this also brings me to one common point because I know the next question things questions would be popping up that how is that I'm expecting go silver to go forty dollar and I'm expecting gold to crash so I need to give the full um, the full analysis of silver now lots of people are going to get angry because of this so t take it with the uh, with, with the good taste please so I'm expecting that we will see the high price of silver, but silver will actually come down as well again, somewhere around 18, uh, about $11, making creating a double bottom maybe, or maybe going a little lo lower, somewhere around $9, $8 as well. And that's what where I'm expecting that gold will crash as well, along with silver. But in the near term, which is going to be very, very good trade setup, because it, not a lot of time is con time consumption is needed in this price movement. We are probably in the last part of the uh, zigzag, uh, I mean the ending diagonal. For the people who are not actually, um, who do not have the knowledge for Elliott wave analysis, you can also easily look that we have seen quite a lot of strength in the price of movement in, in silver, and then we have seen correction, and then all of a sudden the momentum has slowed down. So this is a, a regular pattern that we know of in Elliott wave analysis and this is an indication of that although there are buyers and there are people who are actually interested in taking the silver all the way long and uh, we can see that actually happening in uh, physical bullion but it's also indicating that probably that group of people is going to run out of the money to buy silver when especially prices reaches out over here. And at that point probably we are going to see some selling pressure. I have seen very interesting point that we might be into the not inflammatory cycle but actually deflammatory cycle so this is actually giving us an indication that we are actually in the end of inflammatory, inflammatory cycle for silver and gold as well thank you so much if you have been paying attention uh, once again thank you so much for sharing the videos and uh, putting comments and likes or dislikes see you guys in the next video have a good one and bye bye